Wish I could feel what I can't see Float like a butterfly, scream like a banshee Something's hiding in the pantry Hi everybody, welcome back. So I am actually refilming this because if you saw my makeup look on my Instagram and I was wearing a yellow shirt and I was wearing this gold and beautiful makeup, I, in the same day, deleted both of the footages for that, not meaning to. So I lost two videos with some crazy good makeup. Ugh, made me so mad. But they're worth re-filming. So here we are. This is, I don't even know really yet what to call this. Obviously, I've titled it something. But I know that we all in the beauty community do declutters. And my last one was my makeup palette declutter. And I know that that's really what people care the most about is the palettes. They just want to see your whole collection and things like that. But throughout the years and the months and stuff like that, we give things away that we haven't talked about or, you know, there's bad products, but there's not enough to really talk about and, you know, things that you need to pass on that you may still like, but you just have no room if you're like me and you live in a trailer, so you have a corner of a bedroom in a trailer to hoard makeup. It's not a lot. So I, if you guys like this, let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up um, and I'll keep doing them. If not, this is the last one you'll see. But I decided to put together in my little AOA basket everything that I am passing on to family, friends, um, because these all have homes. Um, I have so many people that I give monthly like bags of things to and they distribute it to their friends and family and so on and so on because... No one around me has a makeup addiction like I do, so they love it, and then I have more space. So I wanted to, to show you guys. I wanted to share it. I wanted to share what I'm either getting rid of, what I don't like, what I'm throwing away, or what I like and I just need to pass on because I have no room. So if you guys like this, let me know, like I said, and let's get ahead and get going because I'm already like two minutes into this yakking. The first thing is the AOA Tanning Mint. This is so bad. It has almost like a stretchy cloth side. I don't like that. The inside is really, really cheap and kind of rips. This skids across your skin when you're trying to apply it. It's not worth it for me. It's not worth it. I got one off from Amazon that I absolutely love. And it comes with a whole mitt and then like a face one. Oh, this, I, I need to stop doing this. This is not cool. <laughs> but I got one from Amazon and they have a lot on Amazon and those ones are so good I wash them like the mitt every single time in the washer I've never had a problem so that just needs to go to somebody else maybe they can get some use out of it and if not then they can just chuck it the next thing is something that I did not like and if you watched my Marshall haul then you saw that I hauled these these are those foot detox patches and they just have like a sticky thing and you stick them to the bottom of your feet and you go to sleep with them and they're supposed to draw out toxins. What my experience with this was, was that the adhesive um, works, that's great, they stay on, but whatever is in them, you see the little brown stuff, whatever is in there, I think that the oils off your feet kind of soak in to whatever's in this packet and then it comes out onto your feet. My feet were so sticky, like resin, like resin sticky, and I could not get it off. I had to use like baby oil. I had to wash them with super hot water and scrub in order to get this like tar resin stuff off of my feet after using these. So it's just not something that was for me, and I didn't feel any better the next morning. It didn't do anything for me. I actually felt worse because I was sitting there half of my morning trying to scrub the crap off my feet. The makeup palettes that I'm actually passing on, I'm most of you probably know the reason why for some of these, but other ones I haven't talked about. So the ones that I have talked about, we'll get through quickly. That is the four palettes that I have gotten from Shop Miss A that just were not good for me. The first one from Just Colors here, the All Shimmer. No, they don't perform with a brush. This one from Sante, the Pro Finish. It's not horrible, but it's just not a palette that I will reach for. I just wanted to test it out and see if it was good for you guys. It's not for me. And then this one that I actually did love, wanted it to be amazing, and it was not amazing. 
it was really really bad actually so that one I'm a little bitter about and then this Amuse one it's like a little dupe for the Maybelline it's worse than the Maybelline and the Maybelline was bad the Maybelline one was horrible so that's saying anything so I'm passing it on maybe people have kids they can give it to um my daughter wouldn't even use that I wouldn't allow her to use that she doesn't use eyeshadow but if she did mommy would do her right with some good eyeshadows so that is just getting passed on but the ones that I have not talked to you guys about this one here it's the it's my Ray Ray times BH Cosmetics palette I like this but you can no longer get it unless you go to Poshmark or eBay where you're gonna like spend triple what it actually costs and it's not worth it um it may be worth it to you but I would never do that but this palette is gorgeous it comes with a mirror and then your eyeshadows and then your face products I got it at TJ Maxx and I couldn't see what was inside of it before I, I got it. I just grabbed it because I really was interested. I never heard of the YouTuber before. These are beautiful and I have used this a bit, but I was just going through because I have no ro more room for palettes. So I was going through my palettes and I'm like, you know what? I can't use this on camera and I don't grab it enough without filming that it's worth having. I want someone to actually get good use out of it. So I'm passing that one on along with the Sunrise Folklore. I just have too many palettes like this. I have this exact palette basically in the Huda Beauty New Nude palette. So this one performs. It's great. I haven't even touched the cream. I left the film on it for whoever needs to use it. I do sanitize them with alcohol. Um, but I'm just going to pass it on. I'm going to pass it on. It's taking up too much room. Just too much room. And then the last palette is the Lime Crime Venus 3. I haven't even used this on camera yet. I got this... It, I mean, the two, this one here, Bliss, and then this one here, Dreamy, the two mattes are beautiful. They're my most favorite matte colors, but I have them in about 20 other palettes. This is bulky. It's really, really bulky, so the other colors I won't use a lot, so I don't see the point in keeping that. So I have a purple moment in a She Glam palette, so I'm just going to pass that on to someone who will love it because it's definitely good quality. It's just taking up room. I'm also passing on this Moda. Look at how beautiful that is on camera with the lights hitting it. Holographic, holographic, holographic. Beautiful. Now, most Moda brushes, especially if they are like crystal-y brushes come with this makeup bag. I went and I found the five-piece Moda crystal collection I've been looking for at TJ Maxx. I kept the brushes, but I have too many of these types of bags. So I'm actually going to pass it on to someone who their makeup would actually fit in that, or at least their travel makeup, because ugh, I would need suitcases. <laughs> Some products that like I straight out don't like other people like them but I don't like them the first one is the LCC camo cream I'm passing these on I bought one and then influencer sent me the other one in a darker shade so I thought that that would make a difference it doesn't I've tried this with different primers I've tried it like not setting it setting it everything I just hate my face makeup every time I use this so this is definitely a pass on and then sadly, because these were not cheap, okay, and I need to find two, the two other ones before I give these away, but the Laneige Sleeping Lip Masks, everybody talks about these, and whenever there's like a sale at Sephora or whatever, they're always like, oh, I'm grabbing this. Well, I found a four-pack kit, and it was at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and it was still expensive there, but I'm like, you get four of them, and everybody talks about these, and they're so good. So these were the two that I tried the most, which was the Mint Choco and the Grapefruit, but I have two other flavors too. These actually made me feel like my lips were chapped. Like, I did not like this at all, other than that. I mean, yeah, they smell good, they feel good on your lips, but I literally felt like they were drying my lips, and I was not liking that. And for the price of them, no. I don't know how anyone can like this. I don't I, I don't get it. So many people talk about them and they love them. And I guess I just have princess lips. <laughs> oh yeah I wish. Now I am passing on these Amuse blushes and it is not because they're bad because they are so good. This one is just a pink sparkly one. It comes with a mirror on the side and a brush, but I threw away the brush already. This was my favorite because it reminded me of Max Melba. Beautiful blush, but they're just too chunky and I don't have any more room for blush. So somebody 
had to go. So it was these two and then also this little elf bite size palette thingy here and it's in pomegranate. Beautiful and I grabbed it because of the blush. The blush is gorgeous. That's like the perfect blush color. I have that blush color in like 30 other blushes. The highlighter is too deep for me. I didn't care because I just wanted the blush, but then I forgot about it. I haven't used it since. So I'm like, I'm going to pass this on to someone who will actually use it. I don't want them to go bad, especially when I like the product. I just don't want it to go bad. Some mascaras. Let's talk about some mascaras. This first one here is L'Oreal's Voluminous Lash Paradise. If you can see the packaging on this, it's been through it. I've had this and have been using it for well over six months, probably close to a year. I'm embarrassed to admit that because you're only supposed to keep the um, mascara for three months. I do not follow that rule. The rule I follow is the smell rule. If it starts to smell bad, don't use it. <laughs> anyway, this is a great mascara. This is a toss. I need to throw this one away. This was one that I do not like, and I don't really pass on mascaras because I think that that's really bad and you can't disinfect them, so they all kind of need to just go in the trash, which sucks because this one I just recently got. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I cannot stand this mascara. I cannot do it. I've tried so many times. The wand is so loose, and I know some people like that, but for me, my lashes are really short and condensed and intertwined, so I need something that is like straight and tough so I can like brush through that mess and try to get them like straight and unclumped. Like my hair, my eyelashes are tangled. I need, yeah. This, no. No, I know everybody likes it. I grabbed it because it was viral on TikTok and I really got let down. And then lastly, this Kiko. This is a smart mascara I found at TJ Maxx. This... Mm -mm. It is nothing special. It's great for if you're wearing falsies, but other than that, it is nothing special, and I never grab for it, so it's got to go. We won't be surprised by this, but I'm going to be passing on the um, A Plus Oil Control Primer Spray from Shop Miss A. It, it did nothing. I think it actually made me more oily. I didn't like the original in this one. I let I dislike even more so this one I'm gonna pass on because I know a lot of people around here since they're not that much into makeup they don't have primer sprays and it'll be really cool for them now this I'm not really sure whether to throw away or to pass on but this is a mask applicator that I got from Sheen Shein. um it's beautiful it has like little crystals in here and you can hear them shake but whenever I'm trying to apply a mask, this pops right off. It just falls right off. It's not supposed to do that. So it's just cheap and I'm not really sure it's worth it. I think I'm just going to toss it, which sucks. I could glue it myself, but why? I don't want to. That was sassy. That was sassy. I'm also going to be passing on this Pure Times Barbie. Now, I don't care about the collaboration with Barbie. That's not what it's about. I got this in a pack with the Ceramide Serum that I love so much, but just cannot afford to repurchase, but it was so amazing. And I got the face wash, which was amazing as well, but only if you do not have sensitive skin because it's a very like tea tree tingling kind of cleanser. And I don't remember what else I got with this, but this is their four in one cloud cream. I tried it once. It's not for me. I know that it's a bestseller for them, um, but it is not for someone who has oily acne prone skin. So I'm going to pass that one on so someone else can love it. And I'm also going to be passing on this this little tiny lip gloss i've never even opened it this i got in a three or four pack from it's a collaboration with becca and barbie ferrera which sadly i don't know but i like getting collaborations with people i don't know because then i look them up and then i get to know them but this is one of the glosses and it's kind of like a white with purple sheen in it and i will never wear that i will never ever wear that i wanted to keep it for the packaging because i thought it was so cute but I'm downsizing and I really don't need to keep things just because the packaging is cute. So I'm going to pass that on to someone who will actually use it. This product I also got at TJ Maxx and I'm not sure whether to pass it on or to just toss it. I probably will just toss, toss it. But this is from Milk Makeup and this is their Kush Lip Balm. And I was really excited about this. This is in Canatonic. Canatonic. <laughs> 
but this is just like a tinted lipstick type of balm and it's a beautiful color oh you can smell it in it though this has something in it and it's such good packaging it's magnetic oh, I love that I just love that but something about this when it's on your lips it feels like it's poisoning you the worst taste and no matter what you do it will get in your mouth and it is horrible horrible i went and brushed my teeth and like mouthwashed and everything because of how bad this was so i probably should just toss it i don't want to like kill any of my friends <laughs> and lastly two nail polishes that i'm passing on one this one i just recently got i always get my opis at tj maxx or marshall's because they're only like 3.99 there instead of 10 almost 11 dollars at ulta it's insane this is show us your tips which is probably one of the number one reasons why i picked it up because i am at heart very sexually immature <laughs> but i also thought that it might be a dupe for an essie polish that was like periwinkle this is too when, once i had it on my um nails i took it off within two hours i hated it i don't like the way it looked too shimmery too jelly like and too sheer so i'm gonna pass that on and this one i'm going to be passing on as well i've had this for so long it's called tan lines by sinful shines and wool colors i only kept it because it was a collaboration with kylie and when i first started my channel i was really into the kardashians and watching them and i just don't need this anymore i never use it literally never use it so i'm just going to be passing that on so that is everything that i'm passing on or throwing away or decluttering or you know all of the above if you guys like this type of video versus going through every single like little drawer that i have of stuff to like declutter it let me know i still will do straight to clutters when needed but i think that the doing this monthly will help me keep more space in my corner and like i can get rid of things quicker than waiting until i need to do a full ass declutter so let me know if you like this give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments um all information about everything about me and the video um i will list everything um that i talked about down below in the description box for you guys if you need any kind of information thank you so much for watching this and as always i will see you guys in the next one bye bye